Okay, right, these new primes, let's let's get on to it, because I want to try and get out of here in the next 20 minutes, half hour or so, the latest. So, two two new primes. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in my dock, I'm going to put a G3 ship, and I've chosen um, a D4. I don't think that's too outrageous. I'm going to choose a G4 ship, I'm going to choose my pylum, wherever it is. Oh, it's getting repaired over here, isn't it? It's already in a dock. And then I'm going to choose a G5 ship. We're going to choose my Vulture. Because it's the only one that I've got. And what I'm going to do is... I have taken screenshots of these already. Let me just quickly pull them up. For comparison. I will show you. Let me just remember which component <laughs> I took pictures of. So I added the impulse engine. So this is the impulse engine. So you can see um, 5493, just to show you that I've done nothing else since 5493. So the screenshots that I've got are completely accurate to where I am now. So just find that screenshot again. So 5493. This is what we're going to work on. This is going to be our um, starting cost, and we're going to show the value of the new primes. So the new primes, we're going to take it to um, level five, which is the initial cost for anybody for 42 plus. And two different researches. There is prime efficient ship parts and there is prime efficient ship engineering now a couple of people did ask me uh, and I've given the same advice to them all if you was only going to choose one which one would you choose my answer to both of those was to choose ship engineering and the reason I said ship engineering is because the main so the main bottleneck in G4 is parts I agree the main source of parts is scrapping it's not the refinery or anything like that so this way you are going to save your raw resources mainly your tritanium you're going to save your materials that you need for all of your buildings and you're going to make upgrading and tiering and maxing g3 ships to scrap into g4 much much cheaper by doing this that you can then going to get additional parts from so this prime to me also it sort of encompasses the other prime a little bit if you're only prepared to get one of them if you're only prepared to get one so for me this one is just the automatic answer if you was only going to buy one of them that's that that's my opinion um again if you if you can get both great get both um, if you're able to get both if you're lucky enough to be able to um, have that as disposable income blah 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 or if you always spend on the game and you have a budget of a couple of hundred pound or a couple of hundred dollars or 180 pounds or what it, what it is here and you've got that thing by all means yeah get both because the again the biggest impact of the research that you will feel for that cost is in the first pack, pack anyway in the first hundred quids worth hundred dollars worth so let's do it. So we're going to do this one. Oh, I need to free up a, a slot. Quite poor power for level one of a research, actually. 2000, didn't it? <laughs> There's an SLB in eight minutes. Oh. Let's check another resource that I really, really enjoy using. Does any, has anybody checked um, stfc.ovh recently? So .ovh has all of the current events and upcoming events, and you're correct. So we're coming up to a research SLB. So research SLB starts in a moment, but he's also started to put all the ARC events in. And I really like this. It's, it's just a real simple, um, easy to view and I'm quite happy. Let me just I'll stick the I'll stick that in chat. If anybody doesn't use stfc.ovh, it's a great little website. Um 
but when the art, new art comes out, he puts all the new art related events in, and then as a rule, and obviously you've got all your dailies because these, again, for anybody that's not sure, these actually run on an 11 day cycle, so they're the same every 11 days. They just rotate and they go round and round in circles, so we always know what's coming. So we're coming up to the, re I call it the research period. There's a big chunky research event every single day. We go through a, a, f a period where there's lots of heroic um, officer recruit events. It happens like three times in four days at one point during the 11 days. So, but yeah, but if you want to check when's the right time to spend and right time to do things, absolutely. It's um, a little resource, again, maintained by another member of the community, definitely worth thinking about. Let's get this in the bag as well. Because we've got enough to get both of these to level 5. So, again, while we're doing that, I will pull up the other two ships that we're going to look at. So, that was the D3, uh, D4, sorry, which is my G4, um, the D4, which is the G3 ship that we're going to look at. This is the Pylum. This is the G4 ship that we're going to look at and the comp specific component that we're going to look at when we're looking at what it's actually done to the cost values. And then this is my Vulture that you've seen out in action tonight. This is the Vulture that we're going to look at. So we've got the D4 that we're going to look at, uh, the Pylum, and then the Vulture. So we've got a G3, a G4, and a G5 ship that we're going to show, just to try and see if we can actually encompass as many people as possible. But we need to wait, don't we? We need to wait until 11 o'clock for this research event. Oh, I've just done two researches, haven't I? What an idiot. I thought, oh, I'll do, I'll, I'll finish them so I can stick them in the oven to wait for the research event. <laughs> and to do it, I finished two researches. What a bloody idiot. Oh, what a fool. I'll tell you something though, Silvus, I have actually genuinely been productive on a stream. We have actually been productive on a stream. I've, I've done things. I've mined some stuff. It, it, it is We've done. We've done solos. I don't think I've missed much on chat. Yeah, yeah, Stewie. I like that clip as well. I saw that when I was looking through stuff. Which research events? The daily one running right now. No, so there is a research event running right now that pays out ultras. That's a 12-hour event. But there is a research SLB, which starts at, uh, in three and a half minutes. So I tell you what, while that three and a half minutes goes, I'm going to quickly go and grab it. Sing a song. Did you sing a song? I'm back now. Are you still there, Silvers? Yes, I am still here. Did Did you sing a song? I did not. No. Oh. What shame! I didn't. I didn't, I didn't want to torture your audience. <laughs> if, if they get enough torture. Uh, from yeah, Stewie. yeah, from Stewie and having to watch me for a couple of hours a week. Yeah, it's not, it's not good, is it? Yeah, oh, it, did he it, sing it's, Barbie it's Girl? It's not because of you, Lube. I, I promise, it's not because of you. <laughs> right, where are we? There must be about thirty seconds to go. The cat belong. Do you know what I should have done while I had her? I should have looked to see if I can get on this leaderboard. Yeah, I can. I need to go throw some XP somewhere. Although, while you were gone, you had a hunter pop into your territory. Did I? Uh, I, won't, I won't quite OC yet. I won't fire off, though. It looks like Stewie knows who it is. I didn't really get to see the name that well. But oh, can joke. <laughs> somebody flew in. Did you get him, Stewie? Did you get him? Right, we must be on now. Yep. Yeah. Right, that's reset. All good. Should we look to see if we could relocate to get him? <laughs> uh, right. Just getting my stings in. Oh no. I've done my stinging dailies a day early. 
I didn't even have four. Ridiculous. Uh oh. All hopes were full. He was going to sting him, then kill him, and then bathe in his blood. Like it, Stewie. You, you deserve that, mate. You deserve that. So, these primes. So, we are going to complete this one. Now, this was the one that I was talking about that increases the materials efficiency. So, even just at level 1, which I think anybody below um, Ops 41 can get for a fiver. Anybody below Ops 41 can get it for a fiver. And just to show you on a relatively experienced part, uh, experienced part, relatively expensive part, if we pull up our, our initial data sets for these, it's taken it down from 5,493 for this one component down to 5,373 so it's taken 120 off uh, 120 off. VT thank you so much for the prime sub mate it means so much to me when people use the prime sub obviously we love normal subs as well but obviously your prime sub you can only give it to one person uh, if you chose to give it to me thank you so much and that's absolutely free for you and you've got ad free viewing for a month thank you so much mate massively appreciate it so at that first level it's took us 120 crystal off that might not sound absolutely insane or ridiculous, but that is only a 10% increase when we look at the research for that. Obviously, we're going to have to go click the button for the next one anyway. Um, it's only a, a oh, sorry, 5%. It's actually only a 5% up, upgrade. 5% upgrade, and obviously that saves us 120 crystal. Now, that's 120 crystal off one component. So you... Yeah, you got me there, Roku. I wasn't ready for that. I thought I, I thought that was Silver's going. I thought that was you singing Barbie Girl again. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what a pity it wasn't me. Oh, Jesse, don't worry, mate. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you so much for even thinking about, about it, pal. So let's start number two upgrading. And while that does that, um, we can um, have a look at the other two options. So we're now going to look at the uh, G4. So obviously this is going to be even more pronounced to us. So if I go back to this and I go to our G4 uh, and I find my disruptor cannon, which is this one. So the disruptor cannon. So this is what that one upgrade, that 5% jump has changed us to. So it's changed us from 40,800 down to 39,800. So it saves us a thousand G4 materials, a thousand G4 uncommon from that one. In terms of rares, it's taken us from 8,748 down to 8,546. And this is just with a 5% buff, 5% buff. And it saved us what, 200, just well, 202. Um, rare gas and the rare stuff is just yeah good night Roku thank you so much for stopping by mate thank you um, and uh, I'll speak, speak to you soon good night buddy and like I say first level and obviously the other thing that this actually impacts is the um, actual resource costs so 17.8 billion so it saved me 300 million tritanium 300 million tritanium just from that 5% buff and obviously a handful of dill as well. I say a handful, what's that, about 18 million? And 18 million dilithiums, again, not to be sniffed at. And let's do the one last one. Let's quick, let's let's check on the G5. This won't be as pronounced as the G4 because the costs aren't as high. And obviously it's not scaling for pair generation. Uh, what was it, Disrupt, dis disruptor cannon that we were doing? I must have a look at more. Oh, that's the right screenshot, wasn't it? The pulsed phaser. Not all cold, are they? No. So the pulsed phaser. So it's gone from 14,150 uh, down to 13,820. So it's saving nearly 500 um, uncommon ore. Now, the other big thing here, commons. Look at commons. It's gone from 7,300 um, and 554 down to 7,100. So it's saving about 200 common. Now, 200 common by 12... Um, by 12 latinum so you do a lot of converting uh, common g5 mats from latinum it saved me 12 times that 200 so it saved me what 
two, th say be about two and a half thousand latinum straight away just on that one sub and about two and a half thousand that latinum is not a lot but again this is just all we're looking at here is one component one component but then look at the trick costs the small tiny bonus of five percent has taken us from 209 billion for this component on the right hand side taking us down to 206 billion for one component absolutely massive absolutely massive so again i wanted to show you level one of that research just to show you that it does work for a start off but also to show you that it is actually a really big impact and what i'm going to do now is i am literally going to blitz through um the first five five levels of both researches and then we're going to look and see what 200 dollars or 180 pounds physically does for your game So bear with me one sec while we blitz through this. I have to be careful not, not to go too far while I've got the resources for the other one. Because that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? To four. <laughs> God, could you imagine? To four and five. It's important to note that if you're below Ops 41, you'll, you won't you will have the option for the big pack first five no one hundred dollar pack very clever stewie stewie said he alternated them to make sure that he got them right <laughs> <laughs> couple more um, do we have any leftovers do we know Oh yeah, we're gonna have 120 left over. How generous. Oh very, very generous. Plus all the power that it adds to your strength. The power's not actually that much that not that big on these researches. That that was that that one wasn't bad, I suppose. Well we've got a hundred thousand out of there. And did we get the same of this? So yeah, we've got about two hundred thousand power off doing them ten levels of research. So there it goes. 221 now let's look at this because this is going to be so good we're going to start again with a d3 let's g pull up no g3 no yeah it's d4 <laughs> no we're going to start g3 golf 3 hmm you thought I said Delta three, didn't you? Yes, I I heard D three. I'm like, yeah, no, D four. No, no, it's a D four. Correct. I'm talking about G three. So the G three cost saving. So look at look at this. So we've gone from five thousand four hundred ninety three for this one component down to three thousand one hundred ninety eight. So it saved us two. What's that? Two thousand three hundred almost. Almost two. Almost two thousand three hundred crystal from one component. I uh, don't think he's free to play. Um, I'd not pay to win. It's pay for content. Yeah, exactly. Exactly done this. That's what. That's the whole reason I did it. It's good for content. It's also very good for your account. <laughs> very, very good for your account. Now, what I wanted to do with this was just to show you the fit, the actual net benefit that the, the this provides. And the easiest way to do this is with this. So if we take. Um, Done that the wrong way around. Hang on. And I'm, yeah, I am. A, I, I am actually a math guy as well. I realised as I pressed the button before somebody mentions the fact that I work in finance. So we've actually got a forty-one point seven percent reduction. It's almost half the cost of materials. For every single component that we're ever going to do again, we took forty-one. 0.79% off everything. That is massive, isn't it? A 40% reduction, net reduction, 41% net reduction of every ship component in terms of materials that I ever do. Oh, yeah, that's just that's just a sad business, Stewie. Absolutely massive. Now, the next bit is going to be even more important because the next one, because we've got both primes and we, when we look at G4,
So default, let's look at this hideous part here. I picked this part because I think the parts requirement is just horrible. <laughs> parts requirement is just horrible for it. So let's go to the G4 ship. So the G4 ship here, we've gone from 40,800 down to 23,250. So 17,000 parts, more than 17,000 uncommons for one component. And I keep stressing the one component because you've got to remember this is every component that I ever upgrade for the rest of the time that I play STFC. That one prime upgrade there, well five prime upgrades, but one uh, just as it were, has nearly half the cost. And then the other part, the other prime, is solely affecting this. So it's affecting the parts. The uncommon parts are a huge bottleneck. Once I get past this tier on my pylum, everything's rare parts after, after that. So, apart, so I'll be able to take this up probably to about tier 9 pretty much instantly. Maybe even tier 10 straight away. Once I get this this, this extra, what, 18,000 parts. It, it, it is phase, yeah. It's a 41% reduction. Yeah, we're going to come on to that VT because you're absolutely spot spot on so the bottleneck in g3 was always materials which is why i harped on about the material costs getting these down getting these costs down from 5000 and odd down to 3100 41 percent reduction that's your big saving here in g4 materials are important i'm not saying they're not they are important um but the main bottleneck in g4 is always been parts and you can see here we've gone from 67,000 needed down to 40,000 needed now let's do that as a net reduction so as a net reduction in parts for every single component for the rest of my STFC career it's a it's a flat 40% net reduction 40% net reduction um, every single component that I ever upgrade again and obviously that does impact G3 so my D4 that we were just looking at before it is costing less which is going to save more latinum because I'm not out there grinding G3 ship parts I do convert ship parts with latinum so I'm actually saving latinum as well even for G3 ships it's massive but then look at these as well and I'm going to come to this in even more detail in a second 17.8 billion for this one part that it was going to cost me in tritanium down to 13.5 billion so what's that as a net reduction so the net reduction here is uh 13.5 billion 13.5 billion divided by by 17.8 billion it gives us it's a 25 cent net reduction 25 percent well 24.16 percent net reduction of tritanium costs massive now that it becomes even more prevalent vt's just mentioned it in the twitch chat when we start looking at this bad boy look at this so 209.6 billion tritanium you saw earlier i mentioned it before um i had something like 1.7 trillion trit which might sound ridiculous to somebody in the 30s early 40s might sound absolutely ridiculous um it's not in the g5 world so i've only actually got this one component would have been like one seventh one eighth ish yeah about one eighth of all the tritanium i had for this one part and let's see what this has done now so 209.6 billion down to 159.3 billion so this has saved me <laughs> 50 billion tritanium 50 billion tritanium and that's off this again we'll say it again one component and i'm going to get that reduction as a percentage that 25 percent net reduction of every single component for the rest of the time that i play stfc now these primes, the way that they were launched, the fact that they had the um, parts primes that were released a couple of months ago, I understand that they left a sour taste in lots of people's mouths, especially the people that bought that prime, um, or especially people that have paid lots and lots of money to get your um, ships to relatively high levels and things. They were always going to improve the economy uh, as time went on, it was always going to happen. 
always going to happen. Um, we was always going to get some boost to the economy. It happened at G3, it happened in G4, it was going to happen in G5. This to me is the, the what we needed for G5 um, a long time ago to make it manageable and playable. They've done it. Dad bod hits the nail on the head. The issue here is I'm not prepared to spend any more on this prime, and I don't think I ever will. Um, however, we need a daily drip for this. We need to, even if it's a grind, even if it's not a, even if it's not a drip dad bod, a drip meaning that you're going to get something for free every single day. Even I think if we have to work for it, if we have um, a Friday event where you go and you have to grind 100 hostiles and you get 30 of the stuff. Do you know what I mean? And you get 30 of the stuff and it's going to take you 10 weeks to do one, to do half a level, you, whatever. I don't know. It's not. I'm not a game designer. It's not my thing that I'm going to, that, that's not how it works. And I haven't thought about it massively. But what we need is some sort of a path. Um, without anything, it's a joke. Now, I don't disagree, but I also don't fully agree either. The issue is, is that they've allowed people to come and spend money on it without a free to bear path. They've let people max it in month one. If they capped it out and said, look, there is 10 levels to this research. However, you can only physically buy five this month because we're going to introduce a path for it next month. And we want you to have the option of doing A, B and C um, to be able to grind it. Now you make your decision. That's fine. I think they have to have a period of exclusivity where these players who have spent, and like I say, to max these two out, if you're 42 plus, it is a $1,200 expense to max both of them out. They can't invalidate that. In my opinion, I don't think they would get away by invalidating that um, within the next 60 to 90 days. That's my opinion. Everybody said that they want a free-to-play path for it now. I genuinely do not believe that we will see a free-to-play path for this for at least the next 60 to 90 days. Now, again, that's just pure speculation. I know nothing. Um, it, that's purely my opinion. It's just well, purely con conjecture on my part. Go on, Silvers. I, I don't have it really any details, um, but I know that I have been working with RevDuce um, over the past week putting together a Primes spreadsheet that um, goes over all of the Prime currencies that we have in the game right now, how many nodes they apply to, how much currency is needed to complete the researches, uh, off requirements, free-to-play paths, uh, etc. And he's taken that spreadsheet to game design at Scobley headquarters, and they are receiving it somewhat well. Um, they are interested. Um, the, the, the door is open, so to speak, as far as finding out some way to release it as a free-to-play path. Now, as far as a method or a timeline, I have no idea. No. But I know that Rev is working with game design. Yep. Yeah, and he's mentioned that a few times on stream and in videos and stuff that obviously he's nagging for this. I think it has to come. I think this is the fix that G... Um, that the, I'm not even going to say the G4 economy. I don't think the G4 economy needs fixing anymore. Um, anybody that's in G4 that's going to disagree with me, I'm telling you now, the G4 economy compared to what it was when it launched is already fixed. This just compounds its fixedness. If fixedness is a word. It just compounds it, but G5 is still broken, uh, and if this is the fix for that, great. Um, however, I cannot see them introducing a free-to-play path for this for the next 60 to 90 days. I'll tell you what I would love to see, and uh, this is an idea, Silvers, if you're working with it. I'd like to see every single new Prime, every single new Prime, use Dolomite Particles. Then you can introduce an away team you can introduce that pays a really small amount you can introduce uh, a, a building where you level it up it pays a little bit more every single day um, you can introduce an event that pays out these but i think every single prime should now cost these dolomite particles uh, Buckethead, I don't, I don't know if you saw, I was subliminally answering your question in chat there. The, there is an Xbox efficiency research that uses the dolomite particles as well. Twelve hundred dollar uh, particles for a hundred dollars. There's, there's another one too. There is another one. The, it was, is it Defiant it, it is Boost? Starship. Yes, it's the Defiant 
um, yeah. ability boost in the starship tree that that also uses. Yeah, prime defiant ability efficiency. Uh, cost effectiveness yeah, for the defiance, but so it's a fifty percent reduction. That doesn't mean it halves it. A fifty percent um, efficiency actually gives you a twenty five percent net net reduction because there's nothing else that reduces it. So rather than being sixteen hundred, it'd go down to twelve hundred. So it costs you twelve hundred for a boost rather than sixteen hundred. Is it sixteen hundred for a boost? Or am, or am I making that up? I can't remember now. Uh, I think it's fourteen hundred. Oh, I ain't working now. What's that? F God, three, three, uh, three sixty-six, isn't it? Fifty percent would be reduced by a third. Uh, no, because a hundred percent would half it, so fifty percent would reduce it by twenty-five percent. BT, unless I'm going mad and my head's not working. <laughs> <laughs> 